Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing a seven month baby and mama favorites video. So my daughter is a little over seven months old and instead of doing like a seven month update or monthly updates I figured to you guys it might be more helpful if I showed you guys our favorite products that we're using every month and things that we love and are getting us through. As you guys know, I don't actually share a ton of information about my daughter and unfortunately I don't include her in the videos. If you don't know why or are new to the channel, I will link um, my Sharentine video somewhere on the screen here so you guys can go watch that. It will give you a little bit more insight as to why maybe I'm not doing those monthly baby updates. But like I said, I do think this actually will be more helpful for you guys. As you can see, I've got a lot of products in the background that I'm ready and excited to talk to you guys about. Um, as always, I will link everything I can down below in the description bar, so be sure to check that out as well. Let's get into the video. So one of our favorites is... So the first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about are these Plum Little Teether Biscuit Wafer. No, they call them wafers. Um, by Plum Organics. They look like this. They come in like three different flavors. And these are the baby crawler ones. So they go like baby, tot. I don't, I, I don't know what the levels are after that. But there's different levels. And um, we love these because baby is going through a huge teething phase right now. So all the teething toys everything we can get that's going to help with teething. I made a, I just filmed a teething must-haves video and if I've already posted that I will link that somewhere on the screen here for you guys. If not, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you guys can see that video when it comes out soon. Our next favorite I'm going to include our walker. So the one that we use in particular is downstairs and to be honest I'm not going to haul it up here and like show you this giant walker in the screen but I will link it down below that way you guys can click on the link and see which one we use in particular. We actually really love ours. I know there's some like discrepancy about um, the safety of them and also whether or not they affect, is it something do, do they affect like hip dysplasia? I think that's the like trigger um, topic when you talk about walkers or jumpers or anything like that. I will say we don't use it that often. I actually use it in the morning um, when I'm making the baby's breakfast. So a couple minutes and that's pretty much it that we use it that the amount of time that we use the walker. Um, and then in regards to safety, I think that the concern is just that if the baby is rolling around and you're not monitoring them, they could go downstairs or fall off of a ledge. Um, but all of that information, you should definitely look up yourself if you're thinking about getting a walker. And of course, I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but anything that you use, I think you need to use under supervision with your baby. But Anyways, we really love our walker. She is really starting to get used to it. She used to just kind of like occasionally push herself around in it, but now she's almost like running in it and it's so funny. Um, and it really just helps give me, like I said, a couple minutes so that I can get her breakfast made, um, my breakfast made in the morning, so it's definitely helpful. So the next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is the Google Mini or the Google Home. So we actually have a couple of these. I'm going to be honest, they were running really good deals around Christmas. Um, and the deals that they were running near us, um, they basically came close to paying for themselves. So we got a few, um, just a couple and we love them. We got them because we got the Google Home first and we really loved that and so we ended up getting the mini and I really love them because you can ask it questions, you can ask it to do animal sounds, read a story, play music, lots of things that help me um, interact and entertain baby throughout the day since I'm at home with her all day long. Sometimes I'm looking for new things to do um, and she doesn't ever she doesn't nap very well, so I don't um, really have hours during the day where I can rest and not have to worry about entertaining her. So I need everything I can um, in my bag of tricks to get through, you know, several hours during the day of just her and I playing. The next few things I'm going to show you are in regards to like basically meal time for baby. We have a couple bibs that we really love. This Oxitot 
bib. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen these before, but they have the little um, catch-all at the bottom of them. They're silicone down here, and then up here, um, it's just like almost like a fabric, but um, I think it's waterproof. So we really love these. We were using like cloth bibs, and they just were getting ruined. Like when you eat things like carrots, sweet potatoes, those really pigmented foods. The food were getting the food was getting everywhere and then just staining and ruining the bibs so these we really love because you can rinse them off just really easily after you're done using them lay them out to dry and then just keep using them throughout the day they also travel so you can roll them up and then stick them in your diaper bag or if you're you know traveling for longer distances take it with you so this is one of our favorite bibs I actually have a second favorite bib um, by the company Aiden and Anai. This is one of the ones that we have. I call it like um, the hairdresser bib because it kind of like looks as if they have a hairdresser cape on when she's wearing this. Um, but I really love using these when we are out like to dinner or for lunch um, because it really covers like her whole upper body. I keep putting it on myself as if you guys are going to see, but... Um, it really covers her whole upper body and when she's out eating she's like distracted and swinging around and so food kind of goes a lot more places than they do at home. So we use the Oxitop bib at home and then we can rinse it off and then we use this out because then when it's dirty I can just roll it all up. Again, um, you guys have probably seen these but they're reversible so there's two different sides and then also it's a burp cloth. So it kind of doubles as those two things, which is nice when you need, um, or when you only have so much space in your diaper bag, like a two-in-one. Next, I'm going to talk to you about the, I think there's like five different uses you can have for these things, but there are cart covers, nursing covers, scarves, um, car seat covers, Lots of different things, so it's like a five-in-one cover. This one in particular is by the Itsy, Britsy, Itsy Ritzy brand, um, and I think the actual item is called Milk Boss. So I don't usually use these for nursing covers. It's just a little too constrictive for us, um, but I do use them as a cart cover, and then most commonly and recently we use it as like a high chair cover so when we're out to eat with baby, it's so convenient. You just put this over the high chair and then sit them through the middle and then like the high chair is covered that way you don't have to worry so much about things being sanitary um, and then also it's just really easy cleanup too so you can kind of just roll it all up into one and throw it in the wash when you get home next in regards to feeding time I'm really loving these disposable placemats for baby so these ones in particular have a little sticky end um, that you peel off and then you can actually stick the mat down. I got um, the idea to look for these after we had gone to Chick-fil-A. You guys know that I love Chick-fil-A. Um, after we had gone to Chick-fil-A several times and they have their own that they give you when you eat there. And I was like, they have to make these somewhere. So we looked and they do and we bought them, I think from Babies R Us. And it's just really nice because even with a little baby, um, I mean, she's not a little, little baby. She's sitting in a high chair to eat, but when you have them up to the table, like it's nice to cover that area again, so that you're not having to worry so much about sanitary, making sure everything's sanitized. Next, I'm really loving these munchkin straw cups. Um, so we have never really been a bottle family. <laughs> that sounds weird, but my baby kind of used bottles when she was younger um, and then she just really doesn't care for them. So I know a lot of times there's transitions like when you're done breastfeeding, maybe you go to bottles and then to sippy cups. But bottles has just have just never really been her thing whatsoever. Um, and so even when we went to sippy cups, a lot of them are really similar to bottles and she just didn't really care for that. So. What we found works the best um, is these straw cups, and we love them. We, my husband taught her how to learn, a, how to learn, oh my gosh, my husband taught her how to learn, 
my husband taught her how to use a straw and he just had to do it one time and she was off like she was a pro after that if you guys want me to do a video on how to teach your baby how to drink from a straw then definitely let me know down in the comments and maybe i can get my husband to film something like that but um we love these specifically because they have um like a pliable straw so sometimes if i let her drink out of a cup with a straw and she can't chew on it she doesn't really care for it um, and then it also has a little cap so you can transport with it really easily without spills. And then also this really cool mechanism. I don't know if you guys can see that in the cup. It has a weighted straw in the bottom. So no matter what angle really they're drinking from, that straw will follow the liquid. Pretty genius. The next item that's one of our faves for this month is an easy to use thermometer. So this guy, you just push the button while you're holding it on the baby's forehead. Sometimes that's the tricky part. And then it pops up, it'll give you the degrees, um, the temperature right on this little screen, and that's that. Um, I know, you know, in certain situations, you probably need to do like an underarm or um, a different kind of temperature taking. Because I know sometimes people say that these aren't super reliable, but in like a quick check for us or when we think she might be a little bit feverish, this has been really helpful. Um, the specific brand, I'm not really sure which one this is. I know I got it from Target, but I will link um, everything I can from the video, like I said, um, down below. Our next favorite item that we've definitely been using more and more is our carrier. So our carrier is by Mia Millie and it is the hipster carrier. It actually can be used in nine different positions. So it's front, backwards facing. You can actually detach this top part and then use it just as like a hipster. So it's got like a seat for the baby to sit on, which has been really helpful um, in regards to comfortability for whoever's wearing it. Um, as well as the baby. It also has these pockets inside. It has a phone pocket on the side um, and then a pocket in the front here that you can store, you know, what you need to. It has um, like an air vent on the front for when you're going from winter to summer. You can make it a little bit more um, airy. And then it also comes, it doesn't come with, but it has the option to purchase a extender so my husband's a bigger guy and um, a lot of times the carriers don't fit him but with this extender he's able to wear this one comfortably as well so we really loved that option about this carrier so i know i said i wasn't going to haul the big walker up here to show you guys that but i did want to show you guys the next favorite item and it is our docatot so we actually just got this sent to us by docatot um, in a collaboration blog post that I'm going to be doing and if I've already done that I will link um, the link down for you down below but I always link my blog in the description box so if I haven't posted that yet definitely be on the lookout for it. This is one of their new covers. This is the marble cover and this is the grand size. So as you guys know we love Docatot. We've been using it since my daughter was born and um, once you know they get to a certain height um, or size overall you have to size up in the docatot and so we finally got this um larger size and she honestly sleeps so much better in it you guys than just being wide open in her crib um i think that she likes how comfortable it is and just um feeling like it advertises it feels kind of like the womb still so helps them sleep and we really really love it the last two favorites i'm going to show you guys for our seven month favorites are kind of more mom favorites oh my gosh i'm sorry i'm making noise with that so the first one i'm going to show you is the yada baby monitor that goes in the car so it really looks kind of just like a gps um does for your car so it suctions on your on your mirror or not in your mirror i'm sorry on your window your dash window windshield thank you <laughs> and then it has a camera also that you plug in um into your car and then it you know you can position the camera however you want and then this way you can see your baby like while you're driving you can just like see them a little bit better this is e way easier for me to look and check on 
baby than it is getting those mirrors that sit on the back of the headrest and then you have to look in your rear view mirror which then looks in that mirror which then looks at the baby um and it just it doesn't give you as clear of a picture of what's going on this i like because it's it can be more close up and um, it's just so much easier for me to see and glance at when i'm driving And then lastly, I was just going to share with you guys my favorite um, body butter. So it's the Cocoche Coconut um, Whipped Body Butter with cocoa butter, shea butter, and coconut oil um, from Bath and Body Works. So I hesitated about sharing this because um, they actually just went through their semi-annual sale and I'm pretty sure they're discontinuing this. So I stocked up on several containers of it because it is my favorite and I decided to share it with you guys because basically I love it because it's so moisturizing it's um it's got shea butter in it which I hear is like the key ingredient for things like stretch marks and mom tum and things like that so and then the coconut oil and the cocoa butter just make it smell super nice so if you guys can, you should hurry to your Bath and Body Works near you and try to find some of this. And if you love it, I would definitely recommend stocking up too. So that is it for today's video, you guys. If you guys have baby products or mom products that you love um, for babies that are kind of around the same age as my daughter, definitely leave those down in the comments. Um, and then keep watching, subscribe so that you can keep up with the channel and see our monthly favorites every month. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you're excited excited to see all of those favorite videos and I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you next time. Bye guys.